Hey folks, Rob here again with uh, RV Adventures. I'm doing a video today on my uh, air conditioning system and the last uh, two videos that I've done have been focused on uh, on that. The first one was um, upgrading the old Coleman Mach uh, thermostat up to this uh, more modern Honeywell thermostat and um, the second one uh, had to do with running our uh, air conditioner off a generator and that was adding the SPP6 uh, hard start capacitor uh, to make it so it could start up uh, running on a generator without uh, tripping the, uh, the circuit breaker or the overload on the generator. And this is kind of a continuation of that one. Um, what we're doing today is uh, I'm showing you guys how I wired up. Um, I, I think they, they call it a soft start kit uh, in addition to that capacitor that um, makes it easier to kick over the uh, compressor for a generator. What I'm doing here is adding a timed relay. Uh, so when you uh, call for the air conditioning to come on, what's gonna happen is um, it's gonna start the compressor immediately, and then it's gonna time delay about 10 seconds here uh, before it starts the fan. Since both of those are um, uh, inductive loads, uh, both of them starting up at the same time is gonna be like the worst case scenario for your generator, so if you can uh, start one and then stagger the start of the other one a little bit that's going to make it a lot easier for your generator to recover and then start the second load also um, so we'll go over the wiring a little bit on here and this is a uh, standard thermostat wiring um, the yellow is the uh, wire that goes up to the compressor uh, starts the compressor and if you picture this small red wire here picture that as a green wire I didn't have any green so that's why it's a small red one um, but that is the 12 volts that uh, kicks on your uh, fan motor up there so basically you have 12 volts positive coming in and your thermostat here just acts like a smart relay so when it you it knows that you want um, cold air or air conditioning it's gonna relay that 12 volts that comes in both to the um, yellow wire that turns on the compressor and then to the green wire which is represented here uh, by a small red wire normally that wire would be green and you can see it's in the green position um, so what you can do is you get one of these guys it's a time delay relay and they're about 10 bucks on ebay pretty cheap and then you take that green wire you intercept it this would normally be in that terminal, but we've kind of intercepted that green wire. Um, you plug it in here, and then for the uh, thermostat upgrade, we abandon the blue wire. If you're going to add this relay, you have to get the blue wire back out. This is a ground wire. So this is a 12 volts positive and then ground that's running the um, time circuitry. And then you also have to jump the 12 volts around into that middle position there and that is the 12 volts um, that's going into the relay and then the relay when it activates relays it onto the other side and comes out and this is on its way up to the fan um, so hopefully that made some sense and you can adjust the timing here anywhere from 0 to uh, 10 seconds um, hopefully that's somewhat clear and uh, we'll get this thing put back together and uh, do a test run. Okay, so we got the thermostat put back together here. And we can actually test this out. Uh, we'll do it both ways, but we can test it out just by using the, uh, the fan switch here. And you'll see what happens. So right now, the everything's kind of off. We'll hit the fan on. You can see the red LED is activated and it's counting down right now. And there you can see after about 10 seconds it kicks on and fires up the, the fan on the air conditioner here. So we'll do a full test here and uh, you'll be able to hear the compressor kick on before the, uh, the fan does. There's the compressor, and we're waiting on the fan. Alright, and there's the fan, and that's it. So, basically, 
that would allow the generator to recover from starting that uh, larger load of the compressor before you add the smaller but also inductive motor load of the um, the fan and I haven't tried it with a, a smaller generator but there is a small chance that with that um, capacitor up top the SPP6 and this time delay relay in the in the um, fan circuit you might even be able to get away with starting this thing up with a 2000 watt um, inverter generator but uh, don't hold me to that. Don't run out and buy one, and then if it doesn't work, come back and blame me. Um, but anyway, uh, we found this uh, mod to be pretty helpful. Um, this is about as good as it can get uh, for starting a generator, or starting an air conditioner on a generator, without downgrading your uh, air conditioner to a lower rated unit. I think ours is 13.5K, um, and I think the next one down is uh, around 10K or something like that. Uh, but you wouldn't find a smaller unit like that in uh, uh, a fifth wheel like this. this is, and even for a fifth wheel, this is kind of a smaller one. But anyway, um, hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, um, hit the share button, hit the like button, hit all those uh, good buttons on there. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a chance to get out soon and uh, show you guys some footage from somewhere else cool. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we really appreciate it.